It's my first time in New York. So much fun. Definitely won't be my last time. <laughs> Welcome to New York! Day this one. is our um, scary hotel. Because the Airbnb lady did not leave the key where she said it would be. So we found like the nearest hotel and this is it. Max room tour. There's nothing to do! <laughs> this is this is the <laughs> we'll update you tomorrow. We made it fam. This is our Airbnb. Come join me. This is our Airbnb guys. We made it. After checking out to that haunted hotel last night. We made it. Okay, I just said it's not haunted, but it looked haunted. This is our Airbnb. Ta -da! I swear they said it was on the third floor, but apparently it's on the fourth floor, so we had to carry all our stuff. We pivoted, but we made it. So this is our kitchen. Fabulous. This is the neighbor's house. <laughs> this is like an invasion of privacy or something. Look, that's so intense. This is the living room. The jet. The new jet. This is the bedroom. And our lesson for today is never rent an Airbnb again. Also, we found out that that scene in How I Met Your Mother was real because our floor is crooked. After settling down in our Airbnb, Max, Jen, and I met up with my high school friends, Tanya, and the graduate, Louis. We made it. <laughs> also, Louis, the recipient of our skincare vlog. Yesterday, one of my best friends who has been in New York for the past few months was asking us skincare questions. Louis was our pseudo tour guide for this day, showing us the streets of NYC and iconic buildings such as the Flatiron. We spent the whole day walking like a true New Yorker and taking a lot of photos like a true tourista. New York is known for its parks, and in Bryant Park, it is like a whole community all together. Music, dancing, drinks, and super friendly people. And Hillary Duff! On our second day, we went all out Gossip Girl and went to the Upper East Side. Going into the Met was really something else. We couldn't take much footage because we were really taking it all in. But it's definitely a must-see place in New York. If you're planning a trip here, please, please, please don't miss out on it. And we were super lucky because we caught the Met Gala exhibit, which was kind of the highlight of the whole museum for me. The day before, we saw on my friend's Facebook page that Hosier was playing a free concert in Central Park, but it was at 7 a.m. because it was for the morning show. So my sisters and I decided to wake up early and go to Central Park and catch him, and we did, and it was so much fun! love walking tours so I was searching for tours online before we went to New York and I found this free Grand Central Terminal walking tour so I convinced my friends to go and we had so much fun because we went around Grand Central Terminal and the Chrysler building the building when it was new I uh, used to have an observation deck on top good morning it's Friday? Saturday? Friday. Saturday. You know, but today is the wedding of Grey Amar. So we're just gonna have brunch and then look for a dress because I have nothing to wear yet. Congrats! Say hi! Oh, hi guys! Hey, what's up, subscribers? Oh my god. It's me, here in the Philippines. Raver Cruz. Hi! It's you, Billy Gutierrez. Okay. Um. <laughs> Sunday in New York. Now, say hi. And we 
just went to church in St. Patrick's, which is so nice. You should catch the 10.15 a.m. one because it's the choir. So, <laughs> it's really nice. Giving some tips, huh? Yes. It's stop, it's stop. Max is a G-Walker. It's stop, Max. Okay. <laughs> She's the worst. I heard before going to New York that Williamsburg is a really cool place to go in Brooklyn. So we went there and we took a chance on getting in this rooftop bar called Westlight. And it was so much fun. The view was amazing. It was the view of Manhattan, I think. I'm not even sure. We also went around Dumbo. I always used to see it in pictures and I really wanted to see the bridges up close and it was really fun because it was a weekend and everybody was out and we got some luke's lobster and ice cream and had a really nice afternoon the vessel is one of the new installations or attractions in new york that i would see on instagram before going there and i really wasn't planning to go up but Nakachamba kami na when we passed by, they were giving away free tickets. So we took the chance and went in. And it's really cool. And it had a really nice view of the Hudson Yards. Also got to watch Hamilton! I had no idea about this story or anything, but my sisters were huge fans and really wanted to watch. I must say, you have to catch it if you can. Okay, you have to, Janine, tell your subscribers what you're asking me to do. So what was he asking me to do? Please remove my makeup. I can't just give you the wipes no. and then... <laughs> Help me. Please. I almost died in this subway. <laughs> I'm an acid attack. This is going to be a... Uh... Remove your makeup challenge. <laughs> I'm not going to. It's <laughs> so annoying. Okay, I really wanted to go to Washington Square Park because I think this was the fountain that was their spot on Someone Great. I loved that movie and I was so excited to go to New York, even more excited after I watched that movie. So we walked around Washington Square Park and there were so many performers, there was a free poetry guy. <laughs> Trinkets on sale and like art for sale. And we're looking for the favorite dog. He was there! And my sisters were freaking out. And you're not supposed to go inside the dog park if you don't have a dog, but they were really big fans, so they snuck in the dog park. My sisters were so shy to ask for a picture with Keeping Finn, but we were with one of my friends who's lived in New York for a year. And she was like, here in New York, if you want something, you just really have to go get it. So I guess that's my lesson from New York. If you know what you want, and if you have the guts to ask for it, then it'll be yours. Checking out. Love you! Love you! 
So that was my first time in New York. It was so much fun and it definitely won't be my last time in New York. Um, it was also my first time to travel vlog. Buti na lang na I got an Osmo pocket so it was much easier for me to film because I can't imagine like holding a big camera. But if you guys have any tips for all you travel vloggers there, please let me know. And since I really want to go back to New York, tell me if I missed anything on my itinerary. Tell me where else I should go. I really love traveling because when I was younger, I didn't get to travel much. So, I'm lang ako bumabawi and I still have so much to see. I'm planning to leave for my birthday, but I'm still thinking about where I should go. So, tell me if you have any suggestions on your favorite city, favorite country, so maybe I can check it out if it's something that I can Thanks for watching guys! I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification button so you're happy with it. Thanks guys!